Hello and welcome to Baker's Journal this month. It's Friday, April 28, 2017. Today's edition is brought to you by Renshaw Americas. Whatever the occasion, Renshaw has it covered. I'm Tamara Teek and here are the top stories. Built on tradition, a German bakery celebrates 15 years in business in Canada. The Baking Association of Canada held its 2017 Baker Congress in Vancouver. The April edition of Baker's Journal looks to clean up the label. And our look inside Durham College's innovative Baking and Pastry Arts program. For 15 years, the German bakery in Annapolis Royal, Nova Scotia has been home to third generation bakers Heidi Klausing and her husband Dieter, a Red Seal certified baker. Like many Canadian immigrant families, they have founded successful businesses over the decades. Proving that food is the universal language, Heidi would sell her baked goods door to door when first moved to Canada. Over the next 15 years, they worked hard in a small shop their friend founded, eventually becoming permanent residents of Canada and opening their own business. Since 2012, the German bakery has been housed across from the Fort Anne National Historical Site in a converted home that now sports a bakery and restaurant. Heidi's grandfather opened his bakery in 1917, 100 years ago, and now they are celebrating their 15th anniversary in Canada. The Baking Association of Canada held its 2017 Bakery Congress in Vancouver, B.C. April 23rd and 24th. It had been four years since the last Bakery Congress in Vancouver and excitement was at a high level for the event. Baking and pastry arts students and faculty from Vancouver Island University and Vancouver Community College conducted a wide variety of demonstrations throughout the two-day event. Meanwhile, the trade show floor was a hive of activity as baking industry supplies from across Canada, the United States and beyond welcomed industry professionals to check out their products and services. The Baking Association of Canada's BC chapter held a fundraising and networking dinner after the show closed for the day on Sunday, April 23rd. The dinner was well attended by bakers, allied tradespeople and their friends and family. On the afternoon of Monday, April 24, Baker's Journal welcomed showgoers to its booth for the big reveal of the winner of the magazine's 2017 Jake the Baker contest. Baker's Journal is proud to announce that Kimberly City Bakery in Kimberly, BC is this year's winner. Owners Eric and Michelle Forbes were on hand to accept their award and enjoy a custom cake made in their honor that was provided by Picnic Bakery in nearby Surrey, BC, last year's winner of the Jake the Baker contest. In the April edition of Baker's Journal magazine, the final proof columnist Jane Dummer discusses cleaning up the label. While many consumers welcome ingredients they can see and pronounce on food packaging, they value ingredient declarations that do not contain long lists of chemical sounding words. The industry has listened to consumer demands and has made significant efforts to create clean label products. The preference for whole, simple and transparent ingredients, along with the term natural, continues to resonate with consumers and food marketers. Though without a clear definition of clean label, the term is open to interpretation. This presents an educational opportunity for manufacturers and food professionals to assist today's consumer to take a practical approach to clean labels so the benefits versus the impact to the appearance, taste, shelf life and costs can be better understood. Baking school means business. We got an inside look at Durham College's innovative baking and pastry arts program. You can be the most talented baker or pastry chef the world has ever known, but if you don't have the business sense to back up your abilities in the kitchen, you might never know success. Tanya Heck, professor and program coordinator, says that many of their students are interested in opening their own business and that most come from a culinary background. Durham also requires prerequisites in response to industry demand for more well-rounded culinary professionals. Marco Cassano, owner of Anina's Bake Shop, Cafe and Catering in Goodwood, Ontario, helped design the program and says its emphasis on personal brand development is another factor that helps it stand apart from others. Both Cassano and Heck cite the program's Advanced Bakery Capstone course as another way that Durham goes above and beyond when it comes to educating students about practical matters of owning and operating a bakery. That's our show for now from Annex Business Media's Niche TV Newsroom. Thank you to our sponsor, Renshaw Americas. On behalf of all of us here at Niche TV, thanks for watching.